this trip we head back down our Olympic claim and we do find a little bit of the best colour we've ever found or close to it. Chase around a few mini beasts and rescue a few out of the hole. And keep ripping buckets out looking for that pesky trillion. Thought we'd better get a jump on it and make the most of the time so we're straight out the field ripping out buckets into the night and get a good head start. Right near the top of the shaft. These are incredibly hard and like glassy hard silica. If they hit you, if they fall a good 50 feet, 55 feet, it's a uh, good night, Charlie. We try and check them and if we can, if they can tickle off with your fingers, then they gotta go down. A bit further down, we've got a lot of sandstone fretting away here. It's no near as hard or dangerous as the uh, kundis from up the top but uh, it can be quite uncomfortable if a heap of it whacks you on the head or shoulders. Go. Try and rescue this thing, hang on a sec. <sighs> Don't run away. I'm trying to take you upstairs, you little bugger. Hey? Oh, right eh? Hey? Not a one back there. Yeah. Really? bucket down and build all this up around behind like walls and put a platform here for the dirt yeah it can all be like retained it's just got to be enough hole underneath it to get the bucket in to clean out under the tip of bucket yeah yeah Gotta let him go. Hello, my beauties. Where are we? Look at that. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Take care now. Bye bye. Then. Good job. I didn't pull any of that dirt. Oh, here's beautiful crystal trace. But this ground is so hard. It's like my old mate Jimbo used to say, she's hard as the hobs of hell. I don't know what the bloody hell hobs are, but they can get stuffed. We actually mined completely under this and didn't see this trace at all about 20 years ago when we worked oh, this claim. God. And uh, you never know how close you are to missing it completely. Oh, it's Oh. That is concrete. Oh, some material still running there, but oh. ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> oh. Blood, yeah, that's hard. I'm not putting up with that concrete. I'm gonna attack it with good old trusty jack pick. See how that goes.
quite huge, but by golly, look at that colour. Beautiful crystal running all the way here. We're going to jack pick it and see if we can't get a $100,000 pocket or something. It's not coming yet. Oh, easy. I think I broke it. Oh, that's a bit silly. Oh, my goodness. I broke. Oh, I didn't really. It's not too bad. Flame and streak. That is nice. There's that beautiful colour running in a seam. Been chasing this in this concrete ground for a long time. And here's a live reenaction of when I stuck the jack pick in that hole while well, I made it. Open this up. And she looks pretty impressive. Beautiful colour, but still not huge, but getting all getting more like opal. That's Olympic crystal. But it is in concrete and see what comes out of it. Like it's very hard level. Might not be very good quality, but still that's fun to find. Back in the workshop, uh, we did face this up and it just came up as a really nice specimen. There we go. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, no. Maybe something in there, maybe a bit more, but that's an interesting lump. Back in the workshop, this stuff came up all right, but it's, see, it's green orange on top, and then you turn it to the side, and the red, blue, kicks out like crazy so we need it thicker anyway not to whinge Colour in one spot, we'll see what happens. What's going on back here? Yeah, nothing. Shannon keeps chopping away over this side with not much showing at the moment, but we've got to keep pushing on because you never know what can happen in the virgin ground in the long run. dry at the top of the hole we have to put water and weeds in it to try and get the dirt to stick in the bucket so it took a while to get it going but she got there go out to the guts of old Olympic and dream about what might be if we had a hundred lifetimes and uh, have a look across all the vastness of the stories and the opal that's been found over the decades. Oh. 
Well, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. As you could probably tell, none of the young guns are in this one. Uh, this video was created solely by our friends over in Cooper PD. We hope you enjoyed their adventure. Our dream is to bring you as many treasure hunting adventure videos as we can. And so we've decided to host some other Opal Hunters here on our channel. Please let us know in the comments if you want to see more of Cooper PD Opal Mining. We'd love to get more videos out for you guys each week. I'll throw some links up on screen in the video and in the description. Uh, head over and support some of the hardworking Cooper PD Opal Miners. Buy some Opal and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.